read a book that's called Trojans Atlas of the Universe by and it's detailed maps and charts. Here is the title of the book. And here's the back of the book. And I'm going to read the book now. First, I'll read the first page. A city can seem like a big place when you're walking along its streets. But it is tiny compared to the distances in the solar system. Driving at 60 miles per hour. It would take you an hour or so to drive across Chicago about five and a half months to drive to the moon and about 175 years to drive all the way to the sun. And I'm going to read about some constellations. And this constellation is called Draco the Dragon. In Greek mythology, the dragon was defeated by Hercules. Some old star charts show Draco under one of Hercules' feet. And here's another constellation. It's called an Ursta Minor. This little bear is also called the Little Dipper. Fine, Polaris, then the two stars of the small bowl, the rest lie in between. And here's the picture of the Ursa Minor. It's the one with the long tail and it has little ears. And here's something about Hercules. Hercules in mythology Hercules was famed for his feats of strength. Among them was cleaning out the stables where the sun god's horses lived. This is a hydra. A hydra, the sea ser serpent, when winds its way across the sky. In mythology, Hercules had to kill a nine-headed hydra. Can you show us a picture of the hydra? Here's the picture of the hydra. It's the green animal that looks like a snake. He's the Hydra, right there. Oh, okay. Thank you, Nora. And this is called a lion, but he's called Leo. The lion is one of the oldest constellations known the Sumerians of nearly six thousand years ago showed it in pictures of these zodiac, and I even have a papa that is called a Leo. That's his zodiac. Right? What's your sign? And my sign is a Libra. My sign is a Libra. And it's my picture's picture is a scale. Let me see. The golden scale. And that's what it is. Oh, lift it up a little bit more. It's the golden scale. Oh, I see. Right there. Can you tell us about Libra? Yes, I will. Okay. Libra stars once, for, once formed the claws of Scorpius. The scorpion, but around 50 BC, 
astronomers made them into a separate constellation. Astronomers. Astronomers made them into a separate constellation. This one is another serpent, but he looks different. He looks like a dragon, like the one we first saw. Serpents to Serpent is the only constellation in two halves. Caput, which means head in Latin, and cauda, which means tail. It is divided by a ficus. A ficus, the serpent carrier. And this shows me to go to page 99. But this serpent looks different. You want to see it? It's like the first one we saw. But it's just not the same. Mm -hmm. But it's still called the same name. It just doesn't look the same. And here's something about Lupus the wolf. In Greek mythology, the wolf was speared by the cantor, Cantorus, Centaur. Centaurus, and placed on the altar as a s sacrifice. And that's about Lupus the wolf. And here's something about a sea monster. He's called a Cetus. Want me to read it about him? Sure, we have. We have like about two minutes left. In the neck of Cetus, the sea monster lies the vi variable star Mira. The brightens and fades from view every 11 months. <coughs> Do you want to see the Cetus? Sure. He is red and orange. He's the one with the scales. Oh, very cool. So yeah, he does look like a, he looks like a dragon, huh? He has two tails and two fins. Can you tell us about this and then we'll probably have to wrap up the video. The three, the Pegasus is exactly <laughs> in Greek mythology Pegasus the flying horse grew from the blood of a monster slain by the hero Perseus want to see the Pegasus sure she's the one with the yellow hair and the wings do you remember stories about Perseus do you want to learn about Perseus? Do you remember any stories about Perseus that you learned? Well, not really. No, you don't remember? But you want to see? Can you say goodbye to everybody? Goodbye.